YouTube, how are you doing? My name is Spock. Today we're gonna talk about uh, what to do if you got the update from Microsoft and at the reboot your tablet hangs into a blue screen that it need to be fixed. What to do, how to fix, etc. etc. That is what this video is about. Last night, um, after a while, I turned on my Acer Econia tablet again, the W8.1. And in fact, um, it got an update. And this morning, when I looked at the tablet, it was off. So I, I turned it on and I came into a blue screen and it was showing me this. So this tablet need to be fixed, all right? And uh, we're gonna fix it. Um, you will need several tools. You will need an OTG cable. That is this thing. But Maxer has a very nice one that you can buy for my Dutch people at the action. Micro USB to a normal USB. But you will need a little hub that you can also buy at the action. You see that? And uh, you will have to create a bootable windows 10 or windows 8 whatever you're gonna install on the tablet on these tablets you will only be able to install windows 8 windows 8.1 and of course windows 10 so assuming you have windows 10 uh, go ahead uh, download power iso 4.9 link will be in the description it's an older version but it comes completely clean without any uh, adware uh, install it open it as administrator and then uh, simply go to the menu and um, select create bootable USB. And in that little window, you will be able to scroll for the Windows 10 ISO or the Windows 8.1 ISO, whatever you're gonna install, point to it and let the USB stick be created. We go from there, okay? So now we're gonna install, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna install uh, the operating system on the tablet but we're gonna do it as followed and I want you to listen really good okay first of all I will show you that we will turn on the tablet by holding down the volume and then pressing the power because the USB with the right files are connected it will be found and you will be able to choose the USB stick as you will see soon the moment we will come into the installer part we will choose for a custom install. Up there, we're gonna remove all the small partitions. You will see one from 75, one from, I think, 100 and something megabyte. You're gonna remove all except the biggest one. You're gonna leave that one intact. When you remove the three small ones, in my case, it were three partitions, all small, small partitions, I think in a total of 580 megabytes. Uh, when I remove them all, they became one. So they melted into one, these three partitions, while I, while, when I removed them, they became one. So we will have two partitions. One of the, in my case, what is it, 28 gigabytes? Yeah, 27 gigabytes and one from 500 megabyte. Okay, we're not gonna look at the 500 megabyte. We will also have to format it later. All right, it will not be present yet. We will have to make it present, but it's not about that extra partition it's about the next one the big one we're gonna select that drive and we're gonna get a pop-up saying this partition contains a version of windows so this windows will be copied to a, uh, to a folder called old windows and this will be installed as fresh so the installer will start don't worry all your files your old windows everything that you had will be copied straight up to a folder called old windows on your C drive. So knowing that your files are safe, the installer will fix the tablet, I think under 20 minutes. When your tablet is fixed, only thing you need to do is go ahead, go to the old folder, 
get your files out of them, copy them to the right folders in your new fresh Windows 8, 8.1 or Windows 10 and your tablet will be fixed. So let's go see how that must be done. And uh, well, I must tell you um, that in fact, most of the uh, tablets that you buy and this one as well, uh, came with a partition that had all the restore files on it already. So probably by hitting the volume down and the power on, it would also show me uh, uh, extra option where I could restore the tablet back to, you know, to a new state or fix it. But in my case, these files were not available because we did lots of testings with this, uh, with this tablet. Also, I bought it at that time special for Windows 10. I think this was one of the first Acer Econias W8.1 uh, showing Windows 10, one of the first builds of Windows 10 uh, running nice and proudly on the Econia that in fact came with Windows 8.1. So thumbs up Media Mark again for this tablet because these were uh, the sellers. So yeah, um, let's get started and let's see how that all must be done. Okay, there we have a reboot already and uh, there's lots of reflection. You don't see anything, but in fact uh, it's rebooting and it should not boot from the stick anymore. So we're gonna remove the stick. Okay, um, in fact, what we're doing now, um, the files were all copied to the drive and they are being installed now. And after this, we're going to get one more reboot. And then, in fact, we should have the system fixed and running and up. So let's go to that point. Now, if everything went right, you will come here to uh, part that Windows will welcome you and you will have to kind of create a name for the PC. So go ahead or create a name, username, whatever it's saying there. Just type a name and go to the next step. At this point, you will still need a keyboard. So go ahead, connect a keyboard. And now you will be able to type whatever you need to type. Because at this point, there will be no drivers installed yet. It's very advised to go ahead and uh, download the drivers on another computer first and copy them to the same uh, uh, installer USB stick. You will be able to access that USB stick as a normal drive just copy the, the the folder with all the drivers of the tablet copy them in there so you can easily uh, get to the drivers so you will be able to fix all these drivers one by one because in fact you will have to you know fix these drivers before they even gonna function all right so we have no touch screen we have no nothing now this thing is just uh, a, a computer that you can uh, connect a mouse and a keyboard to no sound no nada that all will need to be fixed so soon we will see the metro screen that will welcome us so um, yeah let's go to uh, the point of uh, the installing drivers part because I think that is for you most important to know how to fix the drivers because uh, the drivers uh, need to be fixed if you even want to use this tablet. Okay, and there we are. And as you can see, we have no touch screen. Nothing is working. Sound is not working. And we can only move around with the mouse. But that's okay, because we're going to fix the drivers. The drivers, I told you. Uh, copy the folder of the drivers that you have on your USB stick. Copy them straight up to the desktop. That will go even faster. And now go to the device manager. Right mouse click properties and then device manager. Go up there and click on any exclamation mark that you see. 
and simply browse to your desktop select uh, install driver uh, from my computer browse to your desktop point to the folder just point to the folder or point to your desktop and the driver installer will find the right driver for the device and uh, do that until all the exclamation marks are gone also make sure to look uh, all the way down there at the processors as you can see these are uh, the the atom processor was not uh, correctly installed uh, the driver was not suitable of the windows uh, what i installed so it need to be fixed and we point again to uh, to the desktop boom next and the driver is being installed so yeah i can show you the installer of all the drivers but that would make this video way too long this is just how to do it as you can see there's a bunch of drivers there that i will have to install and uh, let me go do that real fast and then i'm gonna come back to you and show you the result okay i played around a bit i activated the device and uh, it was activated the moment uh, it connected to the internet it was immediately activated by microsoft that's also because this is a eight inch tablet all devices smaller than nine inch automatically get activated uh, after they uh, installed windows at least the right version eh? the version that you need for the tablet so that is it peeps uh, the device is fixed again uh, i will just go to see uh, and then old windows my computer and the c drive and then i go to the folder old windows up there i will uh, just go ahead and copy all these files that i had in my account to the right folders on this windows 8.1 tablet of course we could also install uh, windows 10 on this tablet but um, i think windows 8 is just uh, yeah kind of cool for this tablet still uh, to, to run on because yeah it's also not using that much space uh, I'm also not gonna update this thing uh, anymore because I'm kind of scared that it's gonna die again so I'm just gonna keep it in this state I'm happy with it and uh, this is how to fix your Windows 8.1 or maybe even Windows 10 tablet if it dies after an update if you get into a brick screen this is how to fix it but this is also how to upgrade uh, your 8.1 to windows 10 if you want to do a clean install same way remember uh, custom install remove the small partitions keep the big one because that one has all the previous windows uh, installation files on there and that's it and then simply select the biggest drive hit next and let the install be done on that drive well peeps i don't have anything more to say i hope this video was kind of helpful and yeah be careful sometimes updates can kill in my next video i'm gonna show you how to install android on windows 8.1 and of course windows 10 tablets um, not the blue stacks way but a different way